31 of the strangest people found at Walmart. Number 31, Adventures of Man Bra. This is probably because of a dare, but one of the worst parts of being a girl is wearing a bra. So we've been told, it's hard to imagine any guy doing it willingly. Man boobs or not, some teasing about your full chest is not worse than wearing an uncomfortable bra every day. Number 30, reduce, reuse, and recycle. This is actually pretty innovative. Is it effective? Probably not. Does anyone really know what these are supposed to do anyway? They're pretty much in the clear. Number 29, part werewolf. We're sorry to whomever this guy is. He obviously has a life and we're sorry to see this sir, but please, please shave your shoulders. At the very least, you shouldn't be wearing tank tops. You look like someone tried to shave a beer and got eaten before they could get to the shoulders. Number 28, never too late. This guy has killer legs, so can we really fault him for wanting to show them off? It's never too late to discover something that you don't know about yourself. And this guy found out that he looks banging in high heels and tights. Number 27, service pig. Is there such a thing as a service pig? What would it even do? Smell truffles for you because you have a severe clinical case of poverty? Stop trying to pass your pets off as service animals. Come on people, it's not cool. Number 26, ramen lovers. We sincerely hope that this is some kind of costume or joke party because if it isn't, then this is just unacceptable. There is never a good enough reason to have the ramen noodle logo plastered on your butt. Number 25, hunting wabbits. Fun fact, they aren't actually going hunting later. They just want to steal some stuff without getting caught. It doesn't work like that, guys. Come on. Number 24, defend the bras. We're not sure what he is actually defending these bras from, but he seems to be doing a good job of it. It's a great makeshift armor and weapon setup too. Maybe he's defending boobs from bras. Well done, little guy. You're doing well at life. Number 23, Satan, is that you? We've always suspected that Walmart is the devil's supermarket of choice and it is nice to have it confirmed. The big question is what he is buying though. I don't think that you can buy virgins or souls of the innocent at Walmart just yet. Number 22, Samuel Tarly. Holy crap. Are we really sure that this isn't actually Samuel? He seems to have fallen on some hard times. This just became the best Game of Thrones character lookalike found at Walmart ever. It's also probably the only one, but who cares? Number 21, the furries are loose. First of all, why are there furries dressed like that open in public anywhere? Isn't that supposed to be kept in a dark place in your closet that only comes out every once in a while? Second, why are they shopping for body wash? I get that hygiene is important, but this is still really weird. Number 20, the new mode of transportation. This man just time traveled from the 19th century when riding a unicycle was still impressive and useful. He's probably super disappointed by us right now with our regular walking. Number 19, moustache. It might make you look less stupid if you just wore a bag over your head. Then at least you wouldn't be able to see people staring at you like you're crazy, which you, you are. Why are you dressed like this? There can be no good reason for it. Number 18, Flavor Flav's cousin. Maybe he is going for a weird alternative version of American Gothic with a spoon instead of a pitchfork, or maybe he's just trying to make a bold fashion statement. Either way, this is just weird. At least wear a clock like Flavor Flav did, so that you can at least try to explain away your insanity. Number 17 legs for days. I dare you to look at this picture without being confused. That old guy has better legs than some women. Don't know how he does it and frankly we don't want to know, but he looks fierce and he obviously knows it. Go for it grandpa. Number 16, poop placement. Can't decide if the placement of this is brilliant or stupid. It might be both. This is great though. Number 15, Captain America. This is a fantastic Halloween costume and he deserves some kind of award. But what is the bread? Are you on your way to a party and forgot your white bread? Why do you need that? Also, we're not at all surprised that Captain America eats white bread. He seems like the type. Number 14, Batman? Wow, Batman made some poor investments lately. How is he still fighting crime? Everyone knows that his real superpower is being super rich. He's just a smart, annoying, really buff guy without it. Number 13, Fallen and I Can't Get Back Up. If this guy wasn't drunk when this happened, then there is an insane story surrounding this incident. Someone should really help him get out of there though, because that looks very uncomfortable. 
Number 12, Blue Shirt. This is a guy that wore this blue shirt once and loved it so much that he had to come back and get more. Walmart has never actually been associated with quality clothes, but obviously this guy thinks that it should be. Number 11, Patriotic Grandma. Hopefully this was taken on the 4th of July or something because this is really unsettling style to be rocking every day. This is only so much America that you can take before you need a little bit of a break. Number 10, Getting Physical. Someone just escaped from the 1980s. Again, there better be some kind of party that she is going to or else everything that we know about people has been a lie all along. Or maybe this is where Richard Simmons has been all this time. Mystery solved. Number 9, Two of a Kind. This isn't like a two-person costume with one half of the donkey being worn by one person and the other half worn by the other person. This is some messed up version of friendship bracelets. We'd rather be the one that gets to have their face covered to be honest. Number 8, Minion. One of those minions is not like the other. Can you guess which one it is? It's the one wearing Ugg boots and a giant fake eyeball attached to a jumper. We get that fleece onesies are all the rage right now, but couldn't have you at least picked a better movie to reference? Number 7, Seems Legit. We laugh at this, but this is probably something that someone could get away with if the person that they were trying to trick is dumb enough. We're not sure what they've strapped to their belt, but it definitely isn't a gun. So we're in the clear. No crazy people will be shooting at anyone anytime soon with this getup. Number 6, Redneck Gandalf. This guy looks like what Dumbledore would look like if they had decided to set Harry Potter in the Deep South. That would have been a very, very different story. It would also be a theme park that is much more likely to give you tetanus than the current one. Number 5, Tie-Dye. You could almost be persuaded to think that maybe the brown pattern on the back of her pants was an unfortunate design flaw in the tie-dyeing process. Taking a closer look though, you're able to see that the poor girl in the background is desperately covering her nose to try and block out the smell. It looks like she might be with someone and if so, then it might be a good idea to visit the air freshen aisle before you check out. Number 4, Hitching a Ride. The girl looks like she has a bad knee, but this is just excessive. The worst part of this picture is the completely indifferent expression on the clerk's face. This apparently happens every day for them. What a terrible place to work. Number 3, Honest Abe. This is the perfect opportunity to rewrite the past. Stop him from getting assassinated. Just tell him never to visit a theater ever again and he should be okay. Also, getting a new hat wouldn't be remiss. Number 2, Easter Bunny. This is actually legitimately terrifying. The costume looks like it's seen some wear and tear, so it can't be a one-off thing. People get up to some weird stuff, but walking around in a bunny suit is something only toddlers can get away with, and even they are still weird for doing it. And now for number one. But first, be sure to subscribe for new videos every day. This is your brain on drugs. It's Christmas time, so it is no time for a scary clown. This would be excusable if it were Halloween, but this is just frightening. With the FBI investigation, the current uptick in clown appearances, this is just one more in a line of creepy people that should stop trying to scare small children.